In this video, we will go over some of the features you get with a premium Best Bike Split subscription. On your dashboard, you will notice the ability to add multiple bikes as well as race plans. With a premium account, you can have an unlimited number of bikes and race plans. If you do have more than one plan, your most recently updated plans will be listed on the dashboard for easy access. You may want to set up multiple variations of your race bike for testing and then run two or more models to compare results. We make this easy by allowing you to duplicate a current bike or race plan. You could try different wheel sets or positions for your upcoming race. The Compare Races feature makes it easy to see up to three race models side by side. In this example, I'm comparing the difference in riding a time trial bike versus a road bike on a hilly time trial course. Next, let's take a look at the premium features available when creating, updating, or duplicating a race plan. You'll notice under Set Weather Conditions the Advanced Weather option. This premium feature allows you to pull multiple forecasted or historical conditions from points along the course throughout your event based on the estimated time that you will be at that point. This is very helpful in running accurate models, especially on longer courses with varying weather conditions. With a premium subscription, you will have access to additional model types, including the Goal Time model and the Training Stress Score model. The Goal Time model uses your goal finish time to determine the optimal pacing and effort needed to complete a course in that time, and the Training Stress Score model uses a goal target TSS value to optimize your power pacing for the course. On the Race Details page, you'll notice several more charts. Besides the Power Plan and Time Analysis charts, which are available with the free subscription, you will also have access to view advanced weather, yaw angle distribution, gradients distribution, and peak power charts. I already touched on advanced weather, but again, you can see weather data from your race day along multiple points on the course based on the approximate time that you are at each point. The yaw angles chart shows the percentage of race time you will spend in each yaw angle range. Larger yaw angles indicate crosswinds, while smaller angles will be more direct head or tailwinds. The yaw angle data can be used to help with race day equipment selection or can be used to support purchasing decisions. The gradient distribution chart shows you the time you will spend in each road gradient range during your race. You can use this data to determine how much and what type of climbing to expect and to help plan training to match the conditions present on the course. And the peak power chart shows your mean max average power values across different times for the race model and can be used to help set power limitations. Note the link for cheat sheets on the right. This premium feature gives you approximate watts or speed for each type of course scenario you might encounter during your race. They can be printed and taped to your top two for easy reference on race day. Premium subscriptions also allow for downloading an unlimited number of various types of files that can be used to plan, train, and race. These files can be used with Garmin Edge units, the Wahoo Element, Trainer Road, Zwift, and more. Additionally, you can easily duplicate or compare a race plan from its details page. Upgrade to a premium subscription today to gain access to all of these powerful features.